What's cracking everybody? You're back with Mr. Burger. Heal now costs one elixir. It's a really awesome cycle card, and tonight we're gonna be doing some matches live with this giant balloon bait heal deck. Alright guys, here is the deck right here, and I did a little bit of trophy dropping, but on top of that, a lot of people have you know, definitely reduced in their trophies recently because it's the very beginning of the season. If you look at the season reset right here, we got 27 days and one hour. So, on top of that as well, some of these cards are a little bit under leveled, so hopefully it won't be too much of a level disparity because it's no fun if I out level my opponents. Of course, I do have the max level giant, so that's going to give me an advantage in most situations. But, you know, like my balloon's only level 10, heal's only level 10, and even though the heal's only level 10, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it tonight. It synergizes really well with the minion horde, the minions, the goblin gang, spear goblins, all kinds of stuff. It works decently with like the balloon and the giant. I won't do too much with him though because he has such a massive health pool and it just uh, it just doesn't heal all that much now. So let's go ahead and jump into some live matches and let's get started here. All right guys, let's go ahead and give it a good luck. Now that last one, you know, a little bit over leveled. So let's hopefully this one will be a little bit better. Not a bad start. He's got level 12 spear goblins. All right, so let's see. Uh, I got the goblin going to go in the left. He uses the log there, so I don't need to worry about the log anymore uh, if I have my spear goblins or something in hand. Let's go ahead and do the minion horde in the back. And then we're going to go ahead and giant. <clears throat> He's probably going to counter on the left, so we're going to go and giant on the right. Yeah, there we go. Here comes my arrows. Probably could have clipped the tower too, but, you know, it's all right. At least I got those minions. Got the whole minion horde, so that's a huge positive trade there. Ooh, yeah, he's got some high-level cards. Okay, this will be a little bit better of a match than that last one. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and do some Spear Goblins. Uh, alright. That's easy. Easy defense. Don't need to worry too much about it. Alright, he wasn't able to get all my Spear Goblins with the log. So I'm going to play defensively for now because, you know, I do have a pretty heavy deck here. So let's go ahead and uh, just kind of hang tight. And... Hmm. I think I'm going to cycle minions in the back for now. I want to get that giant. I want to get a big snowball push going. Big beatdown push. He's put the goblin hut in a kind of odd spot. I'll give him a screaming hog for that one. I'll take a little bit of chip damage on the on the tower. Not a big deal. Minions actually get some damage off on that goblin hut. Not bad at all. Alright, let's arrows all of this just to get some damage. And then we're going to minion horde to finish it off. Once the archers connect, a little bit late there, probably should have hoarded earlier and just let them take care of it. But either way, um, I'm going to go ahead and support the giant in the right lane here. Let's go ahead and, ooh, there goes the log. Let's take advantage of that by using the spear goblins next. And, hmm, do I have anything I need to use? I'm thinking about that heal, but I don't really need to use it right now. I think it's more effective with, like, the spear goblins and uh, the goblin gang minions and stuff like that. Alright, let's get the minions here to uh, defend against these archers. He doesn't know that I have Balloon yet. I'm kind of hanging on to that. Uh, now that I have double elixir time, we're going to actually kite these Barbarians over into the opposite lane. We'll do a Minion Horde to counter them. We're going to go ahead and Arrows to kill his Minion Horde. My Minions are still alive, so that should take care of that. Let's send in Spear Goblins here. Maybe he will log the Spear Goblins rather than the Goblin Gang. Yep, there it is. And then we can send in the Goblin Gang right after. And there goes the Tower. Alright, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and defend here on the left with the minions again. Going for a big push on the uh, king tower here, actually. I think I could finish it off right there. Yep, that's it. Give him a good game. All right, that was definitely a much better match than that first one. Because in that first match that I uh, did here, you know, definitely overleveled him a little bit. All right, guys, let's do one more. I need one more win for the video. Let's go ahead and give him a good luck, and we'll try to rack up another win here. Alright, let's see. Let's open with minions in the back. And then we're gonna go ahead and probably giant. I'm expecting him, yeah, he's gonna counter right, so we're actually gonna giant left. And let's see if he has a heavy counter or not. No, it doesn't look like he's putting anything down. Mega Knight, that's scary. So there's not much I can do because I have so many swarm cards, I just gotta wait for his wizard to connect. And then I'm going to use the minion horde to kill the wizard. And then it will actually go there and do a good job of taking out the mega knight as well. So I had to take a bunch of tower damage there. There just wasn't... I just didn't really have a choice there, quite honestly. Uh, you know, just the deck that I'm running, it's a lot of swarm cards. And the mega knight and the, and the wizard just naturally counter swarm cards. So I had to be really careful and just decide to 
let the tower do the job of tanking and you know let my swarm cards finish them off all right he's got a graveyard a little bit early though because my tower connects um he's still getting good damage wow he took out the tower i'm, I'm impressed i'm surprised there i was not expecting that with just the graveyard uh but either way let's see i got a balloon right here actually let's go and see if we can get some use of this heal uh heal up the minions nicely that's really good Balloon's gonna run in here and get some damage off in that tower. Nice. One bomb. Two bombs. All right. And the death damage is gonna hit the wizard. All right. That was pretty epic. Okay. Let's see what's gonna go down next. Again, I'm a little bit scared of that wizard because he's got a lot of uh, you know splash damage. It's gonna give me some trouble. Um, but hmm, let's see. Yeah, I shouldn't have even done that. Honestly, uh, it is what it is though. We'll move on and uh, go down to the right here. We're just going to send in the Goblin Gang. There's his Mega Knight. Let's get that Minion Horde out. I know that he doesn't have Wizard anytime soon because he just used it recently. Minion Horde is going to be able to clean up that Mega Knight with ease. We're going to put a Giant in the pocket here. It's going to distract that uh, Executioner nicely. Let's go ahead and Arrows this, and then we're going to send in the Heal here because I have a feeling that the Executioner, yep, he's going to get some swings off onto the Minions. Should have saved, uh, saved and used it a little bit later, but it's all right. Um... I'm, I, I just like automatically did the split gang there like gut reaction but it <laughs> was way too early anyway let's go aggressive here uh, try to do, take out everything he's got maybe go for the three crown and then I'm thinking there's the um, wizard here we go I need to distract that P.E.K.K.A and oh my goodness give him a good game Whew, I'm on a losing streak here alright guys Funky deck. I still got to get the hang of it. Let's give him a good luck. Let's get one more win for this video. Okay. Uh, let's see. Give him a Goblin Gang split in the back. And, hmm. Maybe I'll just arrows that. Just, you know, cycle it. Alright. He's got an Ice Wizard. So I do need to be careful of that. Uh, just, I mean, not really be careful of it, but, uh, keep it in mind, because I have a lot of, you know, swarmy cards, and Ice Wizard's got that splash damage. Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and minion horde that hog rider. Take it out, no problemo. He comes in with the fireball a little bit late. Hmm. Maybe Goblin Gang. Yeah, let's Goblin Gang to support that. And we're going to go ahead and open up with the Balloon in the right here. And um, I don't have anything to take that out yet. I don't have the Wizard. Uh, sorry, Wizard. I don't have the arrows quite in time. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, hmm, should, is it even worth it at this point? Well, actually, yeah, I do need to take out those minions and everything. So let's arrows there defensively. Balloon did get some damage off on the tower, so that's good. We'll go ahead and use the minions here to defend against the Hog Rider. And then I'm going to use the heal here. Get those... Oops! That didn't work. Good thing it only costs one elixir now, so it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, minions get some good damage off on that tower. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Should I giant... I'm not going to giant at the bridge. We're going to go for a, a beatdown push. All right, guys. Let's see. What should we do next? Probably giant in the back. Yeah, and then here comes the prince. So we're gonna goblin gang over here. And all right, minion horde to take care of that. Um, didn't really need the minion horde honestly, but that's all right. I got the giant coming down the lane now. Let's send in the balloon. Um, uh, I got another giant. We'll put it in the other lane. Try to get the other tower. And then I got the heal spell here for that balloon. Have it live a little bit longer. Bad placement on the arrows, but it's all good. Takes out the skeleton army either way. Um, oops, I thought that was <laughs> I thought that was a prince for a second, so I like automatically put down the uh, spear goblins to soak up the hits, but it was pointless. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I could try to defend for the last ten seconds, but yeah, he can just do that. So we're just gonna go for a big push. Uh, with the giant here and I'm gonna arrows that skeleton army and we'll just go ahead and heal that and giant should be able to take it out alright awesome give him a good game 
Well, guys, we had some good matches. We had some bad matches. We had a couple matches where it wasn't too interesting because I was overleveled. So apologies for that. I'll try to make sure that I have a little bit higher trophies or make sure to include some more, you know, evenly leveled matches in future videos. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this deck. If you have any suggestions for future decks or videos that you want me to cover, go ahead and let me know. Or if you have any questions or just want to say, hey, what's cracking, Mr. Burger? Make sure to leave that comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. I cover fun decks like this all the time. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good night.